everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So today I am filming another haul video. Um, my last one was on all the makeup stuff I bought and this one is on the clothing and homeware stuff. Um, I just have a lot of both so I figured I would put them both into different videos and I have two home things and then a couple fashion clothing things so I'm going to do my first ever try on haul. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I haven't done like a fashion video in a while, so I hope you guys like it. And let's just get right into the video. So first up, I want to talk about the two home things that I got. First is a set of three mirrors. They're really pretty. They're gold um, framed and then just a pretty mirror shape. It was $10 from Marshalls. And I'm kind of redoing my room at home and trying to figure out what I want to bring back to school with me and redoing my life while I'm home for the summer. So I figured this would be really great to go above my bed, like in a set of three like that. I just thought it would be so pretty. And it's only $10. So I'm trying to think about, I haven't taken it out of the packaging. I've had it for like two weeks. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to hang it up because if I want to bring it to school, then I'll use a different technique than if I'm just going to leave them here at home. Um, so yeah, three new mirrors. Very exciting. And then I also purchased, and I think this is one of my favorite purchases I've made in a very long time, but I picked up a water bottle, and it says sore today, strong tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start doing some vlogs on my fitness routine and my foods that I've been eating, but I have been in, I'm heading into this is week four of my fitness routine. So I have been consistently working out for four weeks since I've been back from school and I've been eating completely different and I'm very happy. And I needed a water bottle that just popped right up that I don't have to unscrew um, because plastic water bottles you don't have to unscrew the top. And I like to go for walks and runs and I like to run on the treadmill and I don't like having to pause and like unscrew things like I just like to yank it with my teeth and drink it and then also what I really like about this is I will fill this up at the beginning of the day and then I do my workout in the morning so I'll get to about this area and then I'll finish it and then I'll refill it and I'll just use this all day rather than filling five different glasses around the house and then I'm not really sure how much water I'm drinking so it's a really great motivator for me to drink a lot of water which was one of my new year's resolutions so yeah this really awesome some water bottle and I think this was only four dollars I think it was $3.99 at Marshall's so not bad okay getting into fashion up first I bought these really pretty earrings from Lulu's they are absolutely gorgeous and I'm in love with them I think they're so pretty and I've always wanted a pair like this they're kind of like dangle down and they're super glamorous and just beautiful like can you not I'm so excited to wear these like I love it and they were having a sale um over Memorial Day weekend so it was only five dollars for this pair of earrings and I know earrings like this can run up to like 16 to 20 dollars sometimes and that was a steal so I knew I had to pick them up and they are amazing so I love them and then also from Lulu's I picked up a pair of shoes um, while they were having their sale and these are so pretty I love them so much they're these lace-up sandals they're about a three to four inch heel um, and they're just really gorgeous. I have them sort of tied off now so that they're not really in the way. But you can lace the laces around your ankle and then tie them off. And I tried wearing them because the I didn't think that the um, structure of the sandal went up so high on your leg. I thought it stopped about here. Um, but it didn't. And I wanted to see what it would look like if I wore it like under jeans or something. And you can't really see it. It is really tight to the skin, which I do like. I don't just have to make sure that it's rolled up or things like that. So that's really good. Um, the only thing is because there's no platform on this, I am going to have to get a toe insole, like for the um, ball of my foot, one of those gel insole like Dr. Scholl's things. But that's the only thing. I'm starting to break these in and they're pretty comfortable. So I'm really excited. You can see me wearing these all summer. 
And then I picked up another new pair of shoes. These I am absolutely in love with. I've had my eye on a pair of these for a really long time and I felt like I was finally in a fitness routine and my old sneakers had kind of, there's a pair of sneakers, um, I kind of run their course so it was time for me to invest in a really good pair. So I went to Nordstrom Rack and I picked up my first pair of Nikes. Yay! I have hair all over them. How cute. Um, so yeah, they're black and white and they're gorgeous. They're so comfortable. Um, I broke my toe back in October and it wasn't fixed until January. Um, so my toe wasn't healed until February. And it's still in a little bit of pain, and even in my old sneakers, unless my toe was in exactly the right position, I would be in pain while I was walking. And these shoes have helped tremendously. Like, I, it's very rare that my foot will go in the wrong way, um, and that I'll be feeling pain. The other problem I was having with my other sneakers was they had a built-in arch support and if my foot wasn't situated the right way or if I'd been wearing them for a couple days my arches started to hurt really bad because I have falling arches um I'm just I'm a mess <laughs> in case you can't tell um and these shoes oh my god they are amazing I was breaking them in all weekend and I'm still breaking them in but they feel so great I love working out in them I love wearing them I want to wear them all the time but I love my heels so I, I can't commit to that but they're really great and I love them and they were only $45 for a pair of Nikes so I'm really happy with that. I picked them up at Nordstrom Rack like I said so my new babies. But first I'm going to talk about the top that I'm wearing. This is the first thing that I've purchased. It's the first new thing that I've actually worn for more than the time in the dressing room um, because I'm sort of saving everything for when I go away but it's this really pretty blue and white top and this oh gosh this like cut out with a rope tie style has been coming in and I thought it was really pretty on this I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it my mom actually picked it up and we saw it on our way to the cash register and we were just like you know what we'll grab it if we don't like it, we can return it and I really like it it's really lightweight but I really like that it's not totally see-through um, I'm transitioning to a style in my life where I don't want to have to wear camisoles under my clothes I know that sounds lazy I guess but I I just want like opaque clothing I want to not have to worry about people seeing my bra and my skin it's not that hard people so clothing companies start making real clothes thank you um but th this is real clothes um it's really lightweight definitely summery I don't really have anything in this like blue color really I own a lot of dark colors and black so I needed to liven up my wardrobe before summer and yeah I really love this yeah it was originally $70 and it was marked down to $32 at the outlet so that's that and I have a pair of scissors around here somewhere. I really should cut it off, but I can't find them. Anyway, later. Moving on to the next article of clothing. It's another blue and white thing. So this is a dress, and this is what it looks like. It's white and blue. It's sort of like bodycon-ish. Um, it's a really nice material. Um, it feels like soft on the inside, but it's one of those like rougher materials on the outside kind of it's not really the best way to describe it it's not rough at all um and it's by Tari and it was originally let's see it was originally 139 and I got it for 69 and this again I got it at the Bloomingdale's outlet and I thought this was again really great for summer um I do have a couple um events coming up so I needed to pick up some cocktail dresses and just really nice summery things and I thought this would be perfect for that next thing is another dress so this is what it looks like. It's blue and lacy, and I really love this. It's very youthful. Um, I do have to take it to a tailor, though, because there was a thread coming loose out of one of the things, but that's beside the point. It was the only one in the store, and I know people can fix it. Um, it's like an A-line dress, so it has a really nice flowy skirt, very different to the white dress, um, and I love that. This is, like, my go-to dress style, and I just, I love the 
deep color of it because you could wear this in the winter but it's also very summery and like I said it's very youthful and I just feel like it'll be perfect for any like summer parties and I can dress it up with a really pretty necklace and heels and I could also dress it down for like a dinner party or something so it's really great this is French Connection and it was originally 178 and I got it for 84 again at the Bloomingdale's outlet so that is this dress and then this is the last dress that I have and it's a black um it's really heavy it's like a jersey cotton material and I love the bottom um you'll see this in the try on part how it has the um two panels that you can see through I think that's really fun and then it came with a belt which I love again it's like that a-line structure and then I'm obsessed with the pleating on this um, it's very reminiscent of a costume that I designed um, and I just I love it I'm obsessed and this is Calvin Klein it was originally 139 and I got it for 79 at the Bloomingdale's outlet so yeah I really love these three dresses that I got this is the last thing that I got at the Bloomingdale's outlet. It is a maxi skirt, and I haven't owned a maxi skirt in a while, and I especially haven't owned a print, but I really like it. It's um, semi-see-through, but it came with this really nice slit in here um, that's black, so you can't see through totally, which is great. And it's a wonderfully, like, flowy material, so I think it'll be awesome for the summer. Like, with, um, a tank top or something, it'll just look really great. And this is... What company is this? It's Free People, so it's just a Free People, um, skirt. And it was originally... 148 and I got it for 43. I have three tops and these I bought at Nordstrom Rack. So the first is this tan um, shirt with this like print on the front which I really love and then again like this top it has the tie with the tassels in the front so it's very current and it's actually two different materials it has like a chiffon-y kind of material in the front and then a more cottony material in the back it's not very see-through which I like I know it looks like it could be but when I tried it on it was actually pretty stable and I was wearing a black bra when I tried it on so very happy with that and it's just really comfortable and what I love about this and what I tried to do with a lot of the things I was buying was I can dress this down and just wear it out or if I dress it the right way I can wear it to work or to a function or going out and it would definitely work for all the situations so it's a really versatile piece of clothing and this was the first article of free people clothing that I picked up the skirt being the second and this is a top and I love the color of it. Like, this is one of my go-to colors when I'm shopping. Um, it just goes really well with my hair and my skin tone. And I know that I'll always look good in it no matter what. It's different than anything I really own. It has a really deep V at the front. And then it has these really awesome sleeves. And then the sleeves have this tie thing. And, and the material is so soft. Like, this is one of the softest shirts I've ever bought and it's so comfortable to wear um, and again it's really versatile like I could see myself wearing this to work but I could also see myself going out with my friends and wearing it as well and this was originally $98 and I got it for $44.97 at Nordstrom Rack so a very good deal in my mind and lastly I picked up this high-low top and this is by Catherine Mal Malinarino. I have no idea. I've never even heard of that company, but it's Catherine Underlined. And it's just this beautiful periwinkle color. Um, again, I wanted to get something lighter and more fun for summer. And this was one of those tops that I was like, I could definitely see myself wearing this to work or like going out to dinner or something. Um, it's really perfect for that and I love that it's high-low but it also cinches in at the waist so it is a little bit structured. Um, it's more cinched in at the back. Um, and it again just really really beautiful and this I could definitely see myself wearing with like white jeans or with dark jeans, flats or heels and it could go with a variety of 
options and this was originally 78 and I got it for $24.97 so that is that top. And that is everything that I have gotten over the past couple weeks. Um, yeah, this has been one of the biggest shops I've done in a really long time. Um, and I'm really happy about it because I needed summer clothes. I, like I said, I really only own black and like winter clothes. So I needed something to liven up my wardrobe. And I'm getting more into prints. Um, where I was really into solids before, so we shall see what happens. But if you liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Let me know how I can improve on try-on hauls, because like I said, this was my first one. I hope I did okay. Let me know. And if you want to see anything else, let me know down in the comments down below. Like I've been saying, I am going away, so I am pre-filming a lot, but when I come back, I want to know what you guys want to see and what you would like me to film, so let me know. Also down below in the description box is going to be my Instagram and my Twitter, so you can go ahead and follow me on those and stay in tune, and maybe you'll see some of these things in some of the photos that I post over there. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!